Hello and welcome back to our channel Map to Immigrate. We have some exciting news for you today. Canada has just announced its latest express entry draw, and it's a significant one. In this video we'll break down the details and what it means for you if you're an express entry candidate. The latest express entry draw, which took place recently, has invited 3,000 candidates from the Canadian Experience Class CC. This is a significant draw, as it marks the first time since September 2021 that CEC candidates have been invited. The Comprehensive Ranking System CRS score required for this draw was 522. Here are some key points to keep in mind. This draw is specific to CEC candidates who have gained significant work experience in Canada. The CRS score of 522 is the lowest for a non-category-based selection draw this year. This draw reflects IRCC's commitment to holding more domestic draws to help temporary residents transition to permanent residence. How does the Canadian Experience class differ from other express entry programs? Key differences 1. Work experience CEC requires at least one year of skilled work experience in Canada within the last three years. This experience must be in a tier category 0, 1, 2 or 3 occupations under the National Occupational Classification NOC. Federal Skilled Worker Program FSWP, requires one year of continuous skilled work experience within the last 10 years with no specific time frame for the work experience in Canada. Federal Skilled Trades Program FSTP, requires two years of full-time or part-time skilled work experience in a skilled trade within the last five years. 2. Language Skills 3. CEC Candidates must meet the required language levels for the job in each language ability speaking, reading, listening and writing as outlined in the table below. 4. FSWP and FSTP Candidates must meet the required language levels for the job in each language ability but the levels are different from those for CCC Job Offer and CC No job offer is required FSWP and FSTP No job offer is required for FSWP but a valid job offer can increase the candidate's CRS score Two For FSTP, a job offer is required Education 1. CC No education requirements 2. FSWP Secondary education is required and additional points are awarded for post-secondary education. Settlement funds. 1. CC. Proof of settlement funds is not required. FSWP and FSTP. Proof of settlement funds is required. Eligibility. 1. CC. Candidates must plan to live and work outside the province of Quebec. 2. FSWP and FSTP. No such restriction exists. These differences highlight the distinct focus of each program. CEC on Canadian Work Experience, FSWP on Foreign Work Experience, and FSTP on Skilled Trades Experience. How can I improve my CRS score for future express entry draws? To improve your comprehensive ranking system CRS score for future express entry draws, consider the following strategies. 1. Enhance language skills. 1. Improve YILT scores. Focus on increasing your language proficiency by taking additional language courses or practicing with online resources. 1. This can significantly boost your CRS score. 2. Language training. Enroll in language training programs such as English as a second language, ESL, or French as a second language, FSL, to improve your language skills. 2. Increase work experience. 1. Gain more work experience. Acquire additional work experience in a tier category 0, 1, 2 or 3 occupations to increase your CRS score. 1. This can be achieved by taking on new roles or gaining experience in different fields. 2. Job offer. Having a valid job offer can also increase your CRS score. 3. Education. 1. Post-secondary education. Pursue higher education such as a bachelor's degree to increase your CRS score. 2. Additional education. Consider additional education or certifications relevant to your occupation to further enhance your CRS score. 4. Age. 1. Age factor. The age factor in the CRS score is calculated based on the candidate's age at the time of application. 1. Therefore, it is beneficial to apply as early as possible to maximize this factor. 5. Occupation. 1. High demand occupations. 
focus on occupations in high demand such as healthcare, trades, transportation, agriculture, agri-food and STEM fields as these often have lower CRS scores for category-based draws. 6. Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs 1. PNP nominations apply for PNPs which can significantly improve your CRS score and increase your chances of receiving an invitation to apply ITA. 7. Settlement Funds 1. Settlement Funds ensure you have sufficient settlement funds to support yourself and your family in Canada. 1. This can be demonstrated through bank statements or other financial documents. 8. Keep your profile up to date. 1. Profile Updates Regularly update your Express Entry Profile to reflect any changes in your human capital factors such as language skills, education or work experience. 1. This can help improve your CRS score over time. By implementing these strategies you can increase your CRS score and improve your chances of receiving an ITA in future Express Entry draws. That's it for today's breaking news. If you're a CEC candidate, this draw is a great opportunity to take the next step in your immigration journey. Stay tuned for more updates and insights on Canada's immigration policies and procedures. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.